You're pissed off at the judiciary. Pissed off and confused, and here's why. Paul White, the Department of Communities fraudster who ripped off taxpayers to the tune of $27 million, has a brother named Ron. Ron has just been sentenced for his part in a long-running scam where Paul authorised his department to pay people for services which were never provided, the money then being used by Paul to buy racehorses and flashy houses like this one. Turns out that Ron was the guy that helped him get that house. In 2013, Ron knowingly created a false invoice for $3 million. OK, I'm listening. Let me get a pen. Knowingly watched the money drop into his bank account. The drop will be made tonight. Knowingly funneled the money to his brother. Well, I'm going to get you the money. I'm going to make sure you get the money and we can spend it together. And knowingly kept $131,000 for himself. You want to fives with that? Guess how much jail time Ron is knowingly doing right now. Go on. Zero days. Cognitive distortion. <laughs> Better than that, Ron's lawyer convinced the judge that Ron had been bullied by his brother. Ron played Mufasa to Paul's scar. <laughs> Being bullied by your brother, even when you're a man in your 50s, is an excuse for committing a major financial crime. You had the independence you asked for. Ooh, wow, 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 okay. Apparently a doctor provided evidence of Ron's emotional manipulation. Oh, and his lawyer made the point that Ron had paid back the 131 grand. Was that after? After he was busted. F***ing oath it was after he was busted. All the contrition in the world when the fraud squad got him. I've seen the error of my ways. Truly, I will repent! 13 months suspended sentence. They're all the rage at the moment. Suspended sentences, yeah. Clayton's justice. Troy Buswell just got one for domestic violence. An eight and a half month jail term suspended for 12 months. That sounds like... A total load of shit. It is. If Troy doesn't do anything wrong for the next year, he doesn't go to jail. Even though the judge didn't buy his excuse about how he was drunk when he kicked his wife, and also it was dark, so he didn't really know what was happening. Eight and a half months is four and a half months less than Ron White. Apparently lodging a false invoice with a government department is worse than beating your wife. And according to the West Australian judiciary, beating your wife is just ever so slightly worse than illegally flying a helicopter into WA and failing to quarantine. Nev Power got an eight-month suspended sentence for that, two weeks less than Troy got for kicking his wife and pushing her down a flight of stairs. And judges wonder why the community has lost faith in the justice system. But I can't criticise those judges too robustly because if I do, I might be charged with bringing the judiciary into disrepute. If I said this... Free speech is great because it means I can call the world's richest man a hypocritical wanker. Or this, the Premier is full of crap. Or this, you are a f***ing idiot. About the West Australian judiciary, I would quite likely be charged with a crime. So I can't say that the judges who failed to jail Power, Buswell and White have lost touch with reality. Careful, you know who would decide if you're guilty if you were charged. The West Australian judiciary, judge, jury and executioner. You could say your brother bullied you into saying it. <laughs> or I was drunk, or it was dark, or I had cognitive distortion. I do have the inbuilt protection, though, of being a white middle-aged male, a point not lost on people like Keenan Dickey, Jessica Slater, and 400 others behind bars because they can't pay parking fines. Last year, 436 people were jailed for fine defaults. Already this year, 131 have gone to prison to pay off their debts. 40 of them were Aboriginal, 27 of them women. You could get away with a cheap, dumb lawyer. Wouldn't have a choice. The expensive, smart ones are all working for this guy. Andrew Forrest has had to lawyer up because his one-time head of security is suing for unfair dismissal. Paul Scanlon was iced by Fortescue Future Industries. That's Twiggy's hydrogen company. He was sacked on Christmas Eve. Well, OK. Harsh. Scanlon reckons he was fired because he kept complaining about not receiving a $68,000 bonus. He also says he was bullied at work and wants a compensation package based on his $250,000 salary and a further $25,000 for humiliation, embarrassment, hurt and distress. And Fortescue's lawyers are fighting it? Absolutely. While the company's workplace law barristers are busy doing that, Fortescue's patent attorneys are charging in six-minute blocks as they file trademarks over catchphrases which might be used during the production, or more accurately, invention, of green hydrogen. I personally thought they should get a trademark over this one. You're not going to let me take it all, are you? Or this one. Come on, challenge me. But that hasn't happened yet. According to the Financial Review, FFI has filed trademarks over the phrases break impossible, the power of now, and my personal favourite, infinity train. 
to infinity and beyond. Twiggy needs Nick Kyrgios on his team. That guy plays to win. Even in a charity match and even when it's not his chosen sport. 14, Nick Kyrgios. Nick was in the starting five of Ben Fordham's team in a Sydney Kings celebrity basketball game hosted to raise funds for Starlight Foundation. And most people play charity matches like this. Go, go, go. Yeah. Here it is. Teamwork making a dream work. But most people aren't Nick Kyrgios. Yes, Nick Kyrgios has all the points. Even when he's playing for funsies, Kyrgios is a total cockhead. The premiere against Nick. Oh, cross, 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 cross between the legs. Pull up! Bucket! That's good! Giving absolutely no freebies, even though, unlike most of the other players, he's a professional athlete. NBL Hall of Famer Steve Carfino called him out, saying... What a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. You know, that's the premier right there. Have some respect. <laughs> what lack of sportsmanship. He's blocking girls' shots. He's not passing to his teammates. This is a celebrity game. Climate change is blocking the coalition's election campaign. The politics of global warming causing problems for Scott Morrison again. Morrison is having to talk up his commitment to net zero by 2050 after National Senator Matt Canavan said the promise was essentially dead. And as ScoMo was doing that, the ABC's chaser team continued their rich history of disrupting elections. Are you committed to action against climate change? What climate change? Julia Eileen Gillard, Australia's 27th Prime Minister, died today after her body gave up moving forward. What do you think about the currently the Prime Minister opposes gay marriage. This year's effort is a song entitled Cold Makes Me Cut. Cold Makes Me They've cut together relevant words from speeches delivered by Scott Morrison to create a piss take track that contains such lines as My dick is always hard but cold and it's only getting harder. He does like coal. It had him at hello. This is coal. Don't be afraid. The Don't be scared. Won't the treasurer you. knows the rule on props. Treasurer Josh Frydenberg was less worried about the inflation in the Prime Minister's pants being focused solely on the runaway consumer price index. Inflation was up 2.1% in the March quarter. That's 5.1% for the year for the country as a whole. Prices in Perth were up 7.6%, the highest in the country, thanks mainly to the soaring cost of building which has gone up almost 16% in the March quarter alone. Everything's getting so expensive. Mm. The figures mean it's now a very real possibility that the Reserve Bank will raise interest rates before we go to the polls on May 21. Sheesh. The last time the RBA hiked rates during an election campaign was in 2007. And we all know what happened then. This is the office of the Prime Minister. My precious. I'm Ben Harvey. For more up late, Click the subscribe button below.